Hi, I'm Danielle, the owner and founder of Boom Pilates, and this is an intermediate mat Pilates class. I'm so excited that you're here today. Many of you may not be totally ready yet to get out into the studio and take a class in person. So I wanted to make a quality mat class for you that can be done over and over from the safety of your home. All you'll need are a few items from around your house to be used as props today. No need for fancy Pilates equipment. You're just gonna need a long mat, or you can even use a beach towel. We're gonna use two water bottles as hand weights, a small decorative pillow for your lower back, and then a long rope or a belt that can be used as a stretchy band. So if you're ready to get to booming, let's go ahead and get started. And as always, please remember to consult your physician before starting any new workout routine. All right, let's take it to standing. We're gonna to go to the edge of our mat and our feet are gonna be facing forward to our props. You're gonna lengthen your arms all the way up to the sky and just hinge backwards into extension and then fold at the hip as you come all the way down. You're gonna dangle your hands to each elbow. And then after you get settled into this position, just lower your head and look towards your knees. You're gonna be here for four for three, stretchy two, and one. Take it side to side as you just rock from the pelvis and from that lower back, shifting your hips side to side for three, for two, for one. You're gonna take an inhale. Your hands will reach down as you stretch and we're gonna walk out like a bear on a big exhale. Exhale out four, three, two, one. You are in a plank. We're gonna knee tap down. Let your eyes lift out about six to eight inches in front of your mat and your knees will tap down like you're touching a pretend egg but don't let it crack and then gently lift back up. You're gonna tap and then lift. The breath is inhale down, exhale lift. You've got three more. Inhale down, exhale lift. Good, here's two and good. Last one and lift, good. Bring your knees tight together. Bring your body and fold into a shell stretch. We're gonna keep our arms out nice and wide and just hold here for four. Hips get heavy into those toes for three. You're gonna start rolling up that spine for two and lengthen all the way up to every vertebrae, last one. You're gonna walk back out into a plank and you're gonna have your toes come in towards each other. Inner thighs are glued together, your adductors. We're gonna go down for a Pilates push-up. So it's down an inch, down an inch, down an inch, push back tall. So I want you to keep it tiny. The range of motion is not big. The breath is inhale on the way down, exhale on the push up. Good, two more. Down, two, three, press. One more time. Down, two, three, and press. You're gonna bring your hips up to a down dog and start to walk your hands back. One, two, lower those heels, three, Four, bend your knees kind of back where we came from and then start to roll your spine up nice and tall. We're gonna try that one more time. Lengthen your hands up, find extension, let your pelvis press forward and big fold at the hip. Hands come down, remember that dangle. We touch elbow to elbow, then we lower our head and look at our knees. We shift those hips side, rock side. Whoa, balance check, side and side, one more time. Rock and release, and here we go. We're gonna walk out like a bear. We walk out one, two, three, and four. Knee taps again. Tap and release, good. Tap and release. Let's do three, and lift. We take a stretch in two, and lift. Awesome job, one more. Down and lift, knees come down, feel yourself round, get nice and still, and maybe this time bring your hands behind as you fold, you're here for four, for three, for two, and one, we roll up the spine. This time we're gonna take that Joe Pilates push up out pretty wide. So your feet are gonna come to the edge of your mat. You're gonna go down an inch, down an inch, down an inch, press back up, here we go. Down, two, three, press, good again, one, two, three, press again, three more. Down, two, three, and press. Last two, down, two, three, press. You're doing awesome, one more. Down, two, three, press. This time we're gonna hike up into a down dog, bring your hands back just a hair, and you're gonna pedal your heels out one at a time, feeling your calf stretch for four, for three, for two, for one. Gently bend those knees, walk back with your hands, one, 
two, three, four. Lower your heels and then roll everything up nice and tall. We're gonna go bound down to our knees and we're gonna lay in a prone position on our belly, on our mat. We'll be facing that same direction. Your toes are gonna slightly open up to the edge of your mat. Your legs are slightly abducted, so open, and your feet are in lateral turnout, which means your big toe nail is touching towards the floor or the mat. Your arms are gonna come out nice and wide like a goal post of a soccer field. Your nose is gonna touch down and we're gonna do a four part breath as we work into an extension series. This is breaststroke prep. Inhale, stay. Exhale, push against your hands, squeeze your glutes, lift from your thoracic extension, not your head. Inhale at the top and exhale, relax back down. So we're lifting from this mid back area, not from your head. Inhale, stay. Exhale, lift up. Floating into the sky, belly button leaves the mat. Inhale at the top, and then exhale, come all the way back down. You're doing great, let's try one more. Inhale, stay. Press those hands against the earth, glutes activate, lick out in front of you, hold at the top, and then release it back down. We're gonna make it a little harder. If you wanna add on, touch the bottom half of your glutes right where your hamstrings are. You're gonna inhale, stay. Exhale, superwoman, lift off. Remember, it's thoracic extension, not cervical, and then release back down. Good, inhale, stay. Your fingertips reach towards your toes as you fly in the sky, and then you release back down. Let's do one more. Inhale, stay. Exhale, lift. Inhale at the top, and release back down. Press back so your glutes can meet your heels, and now take your shell stretch nice and wide as you fold. You're here for four, for three, for two, and one, and then roll up your spine. We're gonna take it back down and we're gonna open our toes just a hair more into a wider abducted pose. Your arms are gonna come back out to the side and now we're gonna work into two breaths and we're gonna move into swan dive. You inhale, stay on the base. Exhale, seek to straighten your arms. Now your head gets in the game and you lift up and hold. And then we lower every part of the rib cage back down like you're putting a sticker on a book. Inhale, stay. Exhale, peel the sticker off. Seek to straighten those arms. Lower the shoulders away from the ears. Eyes look up and out. Hold at the top and then release everything back down. Good again. Inhale, stay. Exhale, lifting off into the air. Hold and pose. You're doing awesome. And then bring it all the way back down. Let's press into one more shell stretch. Nice and wide and hold with your arms out in front for four, for three, for two and one, rolling up your spine. Go ahead and take it to sitting and grab that decorative pillow we talked about in the beginning. You're gonna stick this pillow behind your lower lumbar part of your back. It's nice to just kind of press against it so you know it's locked in space right underneath where your glutes meet your spine. Your toes are gonna connect down onto the floor. Pretend they're a magnet, they need to, be st they need to stay. Your big toes are not supposed to lift up. You're gonna lengthen your arms out nice and straight and then relax the shoulder into the shoulder girdle. You're gonna rock into a C-curve into a posterior tilt and you're gonna go back an inch, tiny lift an inch. This is just a lower ab control lift and lower. Down a little, lift a little. It's a micro movement, not a ton happening here. So control, press into the pillow, release just a hair. Press and release, you've got five more and lift, you're doing awesome, here's four, and lift, breathe into it, three, and lift, breathe into it, two, and lift, and one more, down and tall. Now we're gonna make the motion a little bit bigger. Your body is gonna become a C curve. You rock into that posterior tilt, look into your inner thigh, and then completely close it. So you open the hip flexor, you close it. Inhale, rock, press into the pillow. Exhale, roll. Good, keep the arms straight and locked, almost like you think of the word click. Click those arms back and release. Good, keep those toes grounded on the mat, that's your goal. And three more. Inhale, back. Exhale, release. Good, two more, you're doing awesome. Inhale, back. Exhale, fold. And one more, inhale, back. Exhale, fold, sitting tall. So both of those moves had a curved back. Now we're gonna work a move with a straight back. 
you're gonna go into your outer part of your core, your obliques. We're gonna swoop our arm out like you're touching sand on the beach and look at your hand and then lift up nice and tall. So there's a slight rotation, your eyes track your fingertips and you're lengthening and lifting. So we dip down for the length, we lift tall for the height. You swoop out with the inhale, exhale lift. Let's do three more on this side. Good, you're doing great. Here's two, go ahead and press into that pillow. Good, one more time. Feel that back tactile cue and lift. Let's do six on the opposite side. Exhale out, inhale lift. You can keep your eye on your middle finger as a great tracking tool. Good, again, out and lift. Working the outer core, the obliques. Good, two more. Lengthen and lift and one more time, out and tall, great work. Go ahead and move that away and grab your water bottles or your weights. We're just looking for something in your house that weighs between two and four pounds. We're gonna lay down onto our back into a supine position. We're gonna practice playing around with our first semi and open kinetic chain. If you feel any lower uh, back or ab pain, please bring your feet back down onto the mat and take a break back into this position. You're gonna lift one knee to tabletop, point your toe. We're gonna lift the other knee to tabletop and point your toe. We're gonna lift our arms up so the biceps have a little engagement as they hold the weights up for us. You're gonna toe tap on the left side. We toe tap down with the hip flexor opening, then control lift. We tap down onto the mat and lift. I want you to really think about opening from the hip and lift. Okay, we're gonna add on. Now we're gonna lengthen the arms back as that toe taps and we lift back up. We lengthen back and back up keeping a little curve in our back, our neutral spine. This is our mouse house. We want that neutral core work to engage this entire time because this is an intermediate exercise. So it's a little bit more control required. And lift, one more time. Open and lift. We're gonna do eight of them on the right side. So we tap it down and lift. Let's do two more without the movement of the arms. And lift, good control, tap and lift, here comes the arms, open, control up, good, point, control, lift, breath is inhale, breath is exhale, good, four more, open, and lift, you're doing awesome, here's three, and lift, we'll take a break in two, and lift, and final one, open, and lift, come down. Let's just take one big breath, you're gonna breathe in through your nose. Expand the rib cage. Exhale out through the mouth. Feel it decrease one more time. Focus on your breath, maybe close your eyes. And big exhale out. We're gonna take it to a little bit more of an advanced version of this. You're gonna lift one knee to tabletop. You're gonna exhale, lift the other knee to tabletop and glue your knees together like you have sticky glue. You're gonna reach your arms up to the sky. We're gonna toe tap both legs down and then lift back up. It's a lot more of a burden now with both legs in that open kinetic chain. We tap down, we inhale, lift. Here comes the arms. Tap and lift. You're doing awesome. Here's four and lift. This is hard work. Three and core lift. Don't forget the mouse house. Two and lift. Beautiful team. Last one and lift. Go ahead and bring it down. You can put the weights behind you. We're done with those for now. We're gonna take a great stretch. Lengthen your legs out nice and long. We're gonna take our knees in one at a time and just give ourselves a gentle stretch. Exhale as you pull back. Good, one more time, take it to the other side. Interlace those fingers as you pull, and a big exhale and release. We're gonna go into the double leg stretch. So you're gonna lift the knee up, and you're gonna lift the base leg up. And we're going to bring our head up like you have a little apple underneath your chin into ab prep. And we're gonna switch, and switch, pull, switch, pull. Here's the breath, inhale, switch, inhale, switch, exhale, and exhale, sounds like and, and, good, you've got three. Three, exhale, out, and pull, you've got two. Two, keep going, don't give up. One more set, in, in, and out, and out. Feet come down for a gentle rest. We're gonna make that a little more challenging. We're gonna move into the double leg stretch. 
So now we're gonna bring both knees up to tabletop, lift up, bring that little apple cue underneath your chin again, touch both sides of the legs. You're gonna pretend you're taking off your hat as you lengthen the legs and the arms out, and then you double stretch all the way around like a snow angel. We inhale, lengthen out. Exhale, curve around. Things just got a lot harder. Out and circle around. Good, you're doing great. Here's four. Exhale, home. Good, breathe three. Good, breathe two. And around, you did awesome. One more, out and around and down. We're gonna finish this series off with a teaser prep. You're gonna lift your left leg up and glue it to the right knee. Your hands are gonna come up towards your ears and lengthen. You're gonna make a big wide snow angel Use that to lift yourself up tall. And then make that snow angel back and relax all the way back out. Let's do two more on this side. Keep the leg lifted and pointed. Core work tall and round back down. Good, breath is inhale, big exhale. Big inhale and around. Release that foot down. Lift the opposite leg up, glue that one to that knee. We inhale around. Exhale, core lift. Inhale, roll down and release. Two more. Inhale, big exhale. You're doing great. Inhale and back down. Final one here. Inhale, big exhale, big inhale and back down. We're gonna sit up nice and tall and now we're gonna take it to a sideline exercise, which is gonna work our outer hip extensors. So let's take it down nice and long, and you'll bring one hand to your head, almost like it creates a pillow, and you're gonna bring the opposite leg up kinda of tall and point the toe to get started. We're then gonna flex the foot to a dorsiflexed ankle and find energy underneath our core. You're gonna pulse it forward, like a pendulum swings forward, pulse forward, points back. The breath is shh, shh, inhale back. Good, again, pulse, pulse, point back. Good, three more, pulse, pulse, point. You're doing amazing. Here's two and back. And one more time, swing, swing, control back. All right, you're gonna put your toe back down. We're gonna abduct it into the sky. So the leg lengthens up tall like a capital L and then you drag it down. This is a create your own journey. You can make this one really easy and cheap, or you can pretend that you're pulling through putty and do it correct. So I want you to drag it and lift, lateral turn out and pull. Let's do three more. Inhale to drag, exhale to drag downward. Last two, pull with extension, and then pull it back down one more time. Inhale tall, and exhale to lengthen, good. Lift it up, hip distance to height, and then give me one more inch. Tiny circles forward, you have six, like you're circling a golf ball. Five, four, keep pointing it, three, two, one, pause, now reverse it. Six, five, good, four, don't give up on that mouse house down here. Three, two, one, and relax. We're gonna move into a move called staggered. You're gonna lift one leg up, the bottom one comes to it, they both come down. So it's up, they touch, they come down. Top leg controls, base comes, then down. Good, three more. Up, touch, down, amazing. Two more, up, I know you feel it, and down. And one more time, up, touch, down. Now you're gonna move both up and both down. Lift, lower, there's your lateral flexion, lift, Lower, you have three, keep that hand in front, it helps you balance. Two, good work, and I know you're feeling it. Last one, and down. Go ahead and roll to your back for a second before we take it to the other side. Take that foot that we were just working and put it up on top into a figure four stretch. I'm gonna have you press and open your hip, kind of throw yourself into it as you hold. You're here for five, four, three, big exhale here, two, and one, and unhook that figure four stretch. Good, we're gonna lift up nice and tall and just scoot your way around to the other side. We're almost done. Go ahead and lay down. You're gonna bring your hand to your head. You're gonna lift that energy of that oblique up nice and tall. You're gonna take your foot up and flex it into the dorsiflex ankle. The base one is pointed, and we're gonna pendulum swing forward. 
pulse forward, pulse forward, point back. Good, the breath is shh, shh. Inhale, tummy's tight. Exhale, shh, shh. Back, try not to throw yourself to and fro. Control it, and back. Let's do three more. Shh, shh, and back. Pretty work, last two. And back, and one more time. Swing, the kick, and release. We're gonna do top leg abducted. So I want you to drag it through the sky, and then flex it like you're dragging through putty. You inhale through the outer thigh, you pull through the inner thigh. You can create lateral turnout for both, so a little ballerina foot, good. You've got four, and you drag and lift for three, and pull, you're doing great. Here's two, and pull, don't forget that mouse house, that little lift, and down, good. Lift it up, hip distance height, and then give me one more inch. Tiny circles forward. Six, like a golf ball, five, four, keep pointing, three, working that outer hip, two, and one, pause, reverse it back, you're doing great, six, five, four, three, two, and one, we're moving to stagger, we lift up, they staggered lift, they both come down, the breath is inhale on the way up, exhale down, good, you've got four more, you can do it, here's three, and down, you've got two. Up, down, final one. Up, they kiss, down. Now we're lifting both up, both down. Good, balance and release. Good, you've got four. And down, tummy's tight, breathe three. Don't hold your breath, it doesn't work. You've got two, and down, and final one. Lift and lower, great work. Go ahead and roll to your back. You're gonna release again, taking that leg that was up on top, and you're gonna put it into the figure four stretch. We're gonna press and open that hip and kind of thro throw yourself into that side for five. Feel free to close your eyes here. Breathe out, four, and three, and two, and one, and release your foot back down. Go ahead and sit up nice and tall. You did a great job. You're gonna take your feet out in front. Again, you can use like a towel. You can use an actual belt like this one. You pull it around the curve of your foot. You're gonna round forward and find a lower back flexion and hold on equal distribution of weight on each side of the strap. And just exhale as you get nice and stretchy in your hamstrings for four, for three, for two, for one. You're gonna sit up really tall, straighten the arms, and then pedal out your feet one at a time. So you're pressing into each side of your towel, your band, or your belt. Three, and two, good, and one. Fold all the way back over. Make it a little tighter if you need to kind of wring your hands around. Hold for four. For three, stretch deep into the calf and hamstring. For two, for one, sit up really tall. And we're gonna take one foot at a time now. So bring your foot into like a mock pigeon, wrap it around one foot up at the top of the ball of the foot, and then just fold over into that knee for four, for three, for two, for one, and sit tall. We're gonna finish it off on the last leg. Bringing it in, wrapping around, and we fold over for four, for three, for two, for one, and sit nice and tall. Thanks again for coming to our class. I hope you had a great workout. Boom Pilates is a modern Pilates boutique experience located in Creve Coeur, Missouri. We offer in-studio small group classes, privates, and duets. We also offer virtual training and Zoom classes online. To learn more about us, follow us at www.boompilateslife.com or follow us on Instagram at Boom Pilates.